He and Larry are kind enough to uh, invite some of us to talk about the international aspects of uh, the network research, the uh, national research platform. Um, there is an emerging global research platform. It consists of a community around the world who is um, sharing information on uh, doing basically ecosystems for distributed computational science. So some of these same concepts, and in fact, uh, Larry kind of introduced this topic in his talk in that he mentioned some of the major international uh, topics. So we have a few speakers here, uh, Professor Moon uh, talking about the uh, Asia Pacific Research Platform, and Harvey's gonna talk about architecture, and Maxine, who's one of our great collaborators in all of these efforts, is gonna talk about the uh, next Global Research Platform Workshop. We're not gonna go into great detail here, we just have a, a few minutes apiece. Um, so we're just introducing the topic. And you're between us and pizza. Well, then I'll talk fast. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, the NSF has many documents like this, um, uh, reports on emphasizing the importance of cyber infrastructure frameworks, uh, how this is leading to new science, and you saw a great presentation from Larry about that, so I won't mention it. Um, the key thing is science is global. There was a nice uh, National Science Foundation Board of Directors uh, report on this, uh, the importance of the international aspects of uh, science. So um, a key piece of this is open information sharing. Uh, you've heard a lot of the technologies, architectures emerging in the U.S. Well, there's equivalencies uh, in Europe, in Asia, in other parts of the world. We have some nice uh, um, uh, partners in, in South America. So there's concepts, experiments, instrumentation, uh, methods, techniques, uh, protocols, and we're sharing these. And the purpose of the global research platform primarily is sharing this information. An example, you heard Ruscio in a number of uh, presentations as a data management method uh, that went from the uh, particle physics community to uh, the um, uh, radio telescope community because it's a nice method. Uh, generally, these communities are in their own silos and don't have a lot of opportunities for interconnecting. Um, we are putting together forums. Uh, 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 Harvey's going to talk about his forum, and then we have the, the global research platform as another forum. So um, some of the themes that are being explored uh, by these communities are large-scale global science, cyber infrastructure, uh, ecosystems as a whole, the architectures, the services, technologies. Um, what is the definition of a research platform? What is its uh, a technology? Orchestration among multiple domains. And I have to mention here uh, Tom uh, Lehman, who is working on something called Autogoal Sense, and he's uh, in the audience, and you might want to talk to him about that. Uh, large scale, uh, high capacity data WAN transport. Um, my background is uh, networking, so uh, I'm kind of biased in that direction. Uh, Tom, uh, Larry and Tom talk about uh, the fiber optic uh, transport uh, uh, foundation. High fidelity data flow monitoring, visualization analytics, um, and introducing AI, machine learning, deep learning into um, uh, the workflows and uh, the underlying infrastructure. And then finally, international test beds for pre-production investigation. Uh, there are a variety of test beds um, being used now to do prototyping of next generation capabilities. Uh, we've heard uh, from Larry and others about these applications. These are driver apps, um, especially the large scale instrumentation that generates the data that has to be moved around the world. A nice model for this is the LHC. Uh, Harvey put together some of the architecture for this, the LHC um, optical uh, private network. This uh, is the uh, high performance interconnects among the uh, tier one analytics centers. But there's also an LHC open network environment, which is a network that connects the tier ones to tier twos, tier threes. And it looks a little complex here, but it's been very, very successful. And that's the key thing, because it's kind of a model of where things uh, are moving. And I'll note that 
there's a variety of um, communities that have joined the LHC-1, uh, Bell-2 experiment, Pierre Auger Observatory, Nova experiment, Xeon, and others that are now using this infrastructure. Other scientists have asked to use the infrastructure, uh, geophysical sciences, bioinformatics, but they can't. Uh, this is for particle physics. This is not LHC, this is particle physics here. So people are beginning to think about something called uh, the multi-one, which will do exactly that. And another key piece to this is identifying the flows in these infrastructures. And another person here is uh, Sean McKee, uh, who's working on packet marking. And also, there's a really nice effort in uh, the Energy Science Network for uh, deep visibility through uh, high-touch networking. And with that, um, I'll turn it over to our next speaker, Professor Moon. Thank you.